to Cha Cha's Queendom. It's been a while because my son plays hockey. So during hockey season, we're on tours all the time for tournaments. So I just didn't have time to get to film any videos. But now I'm back. And this recipe that I want to share with you today actually was inspired by one of our trips to San Diego. I found this tomato in the VIP lounge in the airport. And there's n not much good food over there, but then this tomatoes caught my attention. It's super intense with the tomato flavor, but it's not sun-dried tomatoes, so it's still kind of juicy and plummy. So I really enjoyed it, and I came back. I wanted to find it at our local market or online. Not only was it so hard to find similar products, if I found any, it was actually a disappointment because it will be like a little bit still too watery for those roasted tomatoes that I found online or in the local market, which means the flavor is not super intensified. So I'll have to do it by myself. And I'm so excited that I finally figured it out, the perfect balance between a fresh tomatoes and a sun-dried tomatoes. This is the best topping. You can put it on your pizza or your pasta or any sandwich that you make or like a avocado toast or any chicken wraps or any wraps that you want to make. It's just like an instant food enhancer. Elevate the flavor right away. I can't wait to show you how I make this perfect oven roasted tomatoes. So unfortunately, we found out that we didn't plug in my audio, so I have to guess what I say here and do some voiceover. I think I'm saying that I bought these tomatoes from Costco, those two pounds in a box, the grape tomatoes, and they work perfectly for this recipe. And this recipe is super easy and straightforward. The hardest work is actually just to have all the tomatoes. This is the most time consuming part. Otherwise, it's really easy. So we have all the tomatoes. And then we want to marinate it. And first we will need some garlic. We just want to smash them. We don't want them finely chopped or anything because I don't want them to burn easily in the oven. So just smash them and throw them in. And then we need some salt. I use the molten sea salt and dry basil, dry oregano, and then some extra virgin olive oil. And you also want some really good balsamic vinegar. It will just enhance the flavor for tomatoes. You know, they're perfect match. And then we just mix it up and let it sit there to marinate for about 15 minutes to 30 minutes. After that, we just pour them onto the baking sheets. And you can see that I also line up my baking sheets with some parchment paper for easy cleaning later. And then it's very important that you don't want to crowd the tomatoes onto the baking sheets. You want them to spread apart so the juice can evaporate easily. Just to give you a reference, so I have two pounds of the grape tomatoes from Costco and my baking sheets is about 16 and a half inches times 11 and a half inches. And that works perfectly for me. And then of course some black pepper on top of it and then we're ready to send it into the oven 425 degrees for about 30 minutes depends on how juicy every time your tomatoes are it actually took me 33 minutes this time because it depends on every time how juicy your tomato is so the key point is when you take it out you see it's really not much juice on the sheet but then um the Tomato is still kind of juicy and plummy, not totally dried out or, you know, burned. And that is perfect. And then we're just going to put in some freshly chopped basil and mix it in. Gently, because you don't want to break the tomatoes because they're still tender and juicy. I just gently stir it in. And then spread them out again and let it cool down to room temperature. When it's cooling down, the juice is going to evaporate more and then it will give it a little drier look and intensify the flavor even more. Mm, smells so good. 
This is a closer look of the tomatoes when they're first out of the oven and after you put in the basil and mix it up. You can see there's still some juice around the tomatoes. So we're gonna leave it out in room temperature for about six to eight hours or overnight. Cause I want the juice to keep evaporating, but I don't want it to do that in the oven so that it gets burned. And this is after eight hours of cooling down and also continue evaporating some juice. And this is the perfect end result that I'm looking for. And you can see the tomatoes still plummy and juicy, but then there's no excess juice around it. So it's perfectly intensified. And I just put them in a jar like this and leave it in the fridge and it can be kept in the fridge for about two to three weeks, no problem. And then I just use it whenever I feel like a little bit pop of flavor. Like I said, it's super good on top of the pizza or pasta or even avocado toast and sandwiches or chicken wraps, you name it. Or scrambled eggs, just put it on top of scrambled eggs, okay? Please, I really hope you give this recipe a try because I know you're gonna love it. And I'll be honest with you, I sometimes go to the restaurant nowadays and I bring a little box with me in my purse so I can put it on top of some of the food. It is that good, okay? All right, if you like this recipe, please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you very much, and I'll see you next time.